This is code.org, and we have, well, looks like some code. All right. Oh, what do you think this program does? Okay, so obviously we can't hit run yet. Once we type in our answer, we can hit run, but then the answer is submitted to me or to your teacher. So let's think about this carefully. Now, not to give away the game too much here, but it's all about constructors. So let's think. What are we focused on here? The constructor, keep in mind, it's going to be this chunk. Let's take a look here. So line six says painter, my painter equals new painter. So there's a painter class that we know. We're instantiating, we're making a new object, which is just a version you could think of, of the class, right? An instance of the class that we can use. So we're making a painter from the painter class. I'm naming my painter from the painter class my painter. And it's just going to store all of the stuff, all of the options that are available to the painter class. Now, to do this, we say, okay, create this new object, my painter. It's a painter object. Now we ask it to call on a method, which is the constructor. Huh. Here's something odd, though, and we haven't seen this before. Let me just magic my way. Bloop. So here's something from a while back, right? Painter Plus. Here's the constructor from the Painter Plus class. And in this one, we just use super because all we're doing is when the object is instantiated, we're asking the computer, hey, whatever they're doing here, right? Like we did right here. When they do this, just make sure the Painter Plus has all of the stuff the painter did, which is all that super does. That's beside the point. What we want to know now, though, or what they're doing now, is they're passing it some arguments, which must mean there are parameters. So let's see. What are we giving to it? We're giving it a 0, a 3, a south, and a 10. Ha. Huh. So while my painter can move, my painter dot paint white, my painter dot move. Interesting. Well, if I look at the board here, normally we start way up here right? So I find that suspicious that they have a whole area blocked off where a starting location is. So let's see, if I think of an XY graph, usually, right, what would come first? X would come first, then the Y value. Okay, well, if that's the case here, the X value would be zero, the Y value would be three, uh, I guess we're going down from the top, but sure, zero. Uh, that's the X column, so this is zero. And then three for Y. Uh, one, two, three. Oh, interesting. I would be right here. Hmm. Okay. And then maybe I'll be facing south. And I'm not sure what 10 is. But while my painter can move, my painter paint white, my painter move. Huh. I wonder if 10 is how much paint we have. And again, I'm not sure if this is going to work, but that's a possibility. That's how I would logic this out to make it make sense. So we're utilizing these numbers in some way, obviously, or attempting to. And I want to show you real quick what's likely happening here. So in this example, we have 0 and 3, most likely for x and y. So really what's going on there is there's probably something like private and uh, x location equals 0. So there's probably something like this within the class, the X location, Y location, a direction, and I just called this current amount of paint. And then what's happening is when we pass it, when we provide values like this in a constructor, and I know this is painter, right? So my example is not perfect. This is my, my painter plus, but it has the same concept if this was just the painter class. So we can pass it information. And what this might say on this end then is int, I'm just X and y uh, string, maybe they say new direction, something like this, and then, uh, oh, I don't want to type all that out, new paint, I'm out, something like this. And then that allows, instead of, it, it allows to immediately assign new values to these properties, to these attributes. So suddenly this x location can be equal to x, whatever is passed in the constructor. 
So the moment that the object is instantiated, the moment that we create an object from the class, we can provide it values to be stored and used. That way, otherwise, we might have to have separate methods for all of this that we have to call, like public set my x. And then we would have to do int x, and then we would have to do all of this, right? So this is a way to save time and make programs more efficient. All that being said, my assumption then is the... Okay, let me see here. Let's hit run. And of course, we want complete sentences. You want to have your own thoughts because they're probably better. But my general idea, what I threw down is just bullets. It's things to consider. The program will have a painter start in the top left column, right? So zero and then row two, row zero, row one, row zero, row one, row two, oh, row three, zero, one, two, yeah, row three. See, and the painter will be facing south. The painter will paint a white line. Boom. Cool. Onward. Um,